Peter Walsh. Hi Chris, thank you so much for the amazing videos. The info you have given us is something we would probably never have ever heard about living across the pond over here in Ireland. There is a Scientology office here. About 20 years ago, me and a couple of my friends went in purely to have a bit of a laugh with them. We never really had any big interest in signing up. My question though is, us, Ireland, being a small nation and having a very diverse beliefs on religion, life in general, and that the very same Scientology office has completely shrunk to a minuscule room, has Scientology really an interest in the smaller countries like ourselves, or is it really just taking a bullet for the cause to show a presence over here and stand firm with the organization? All right, well, the reason that you have an office over in Ireland is because L. Ron Hubbard personally actually set that up over there in Ireland. I don't know if it's in that location, but he did set up Ireland very early on in Scientology's history, and he developed a lot of um, the beginning introductory services that, uh, or the, the way to introduce people into Scientology, he started working over in Ireland. Uh, he called it the Personal Efficiency Foundation, or the person, and he developed it was called the Personal Efficiency Course. And this was uh, this was kind of a big deal back then because it was the way that they were going to get you know everybody into Scientology. And I think it's actually for exactly the reasons you listed that he went to Ireland because there is diversity there, and because it is a small country there, I think he thought that it would be more accepting of Scientology as a new religion. And I thought that I think that he had the idea that it might be if it if it caught on that it would be something that he could you know take over the whole country. I think Hubbard was kind of into that early on. He was uh, going you know he was reaching big, and uh, of course you know in later years he went down to you know, Rhodesia and uh, tried to do the same thing, take over the whole country you know sort of thing. So it wasn't beyond his way of thinking to to do something like that. The reason why they haven't just shut down the office is because one of the other Hubbard policies is that you never, ever close a Scientology church for any reason. And uh, I think that, uh, you know, there have been missions, there have been franchises that have closed, but as far as Scientology organizations go, what we call the, the Class 5 orgs or the, 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 the local churches, uh, they really, really work to keep those things open, even if it's only two people in them. I think Birmingham one time got down to like two or three people until it got some life, you know, resuscitated into it. Uh, so they'll keep those doors open, you know, and they'll do anything they need to in order to, to keep them going. And that's why there's still a presence there.